Okay, because a couple of the steps aren't necessarily obvious, I'm just going to demonstrate the order of operations this has to go together in. Uh, I couldn't get these parts apart. They were wedged in too tightly. And in fact, uh, this part was also wedged in too tightly. It broke while I was trying to get it out. <laughs> so, in any case, um, I printed another so we can do a demo. So the first thing that um, needs to go together is we'll have to put the, uh, the drive gear in place. So we'll take this washer, makes a spacer between the parts. This goes in place. We can install this uh, circlet. Now that's on. Good. Okay, next step. This piece just goes, there's a little divot, and the tip of this needs to align with that. Next piece is this forward bushing, and that fits in and forms a space. That went in pretty pretty uh, easily for me there, but um, I had to pound it in the first time I had it together. If you're going to glue anything on this, uh, it'll be this little piece right here. You want to make, make sure that it's... Uh, fixed into there. I haven't put the glue on now because I wanted to demonstrate putting it together. Anyway, last piece is the spindle. And since that's a taper fit into the uh, into the driven gear, that 10 tooth gear, uh, give it a little whack uh, and seat it. And now it's all one piece. So we can insert a little bit. Which is actually pretty stiff the first time. I made the hole pretty tight tolerances because I figured it's only going to be uh, potentially getting looser in future, so might as well start it out tightly. <laughs> and if this was clamped down, that would have drilled. 